Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to change your smart screen settings in Windows 10. So smart screen settings are really nothing new to Windows, specifically with their web browsers, but in Windows 10 it's definitely become much more integrated with the operating system, as with Windows 8 as well. So smart screen automatically will check and downloaded files from the internet, and, and this is done to help prevent malicious programs or software from getting onto your computer. So smart screen is very active sometimes and in the event that you wanted to tone it down a little bit or if you wanted to turn up the aggressiveness I'll be showing you how to do just that. So we are going to start by heading over to the start menu and we're going to search up smart screen and right above control panel there should be something that says change smart screen settings it's all the same button here and it should be listed as the best match on the search results you want to left click on it on the left side left click on change windows smart screen settings what do you want to do with unrecognized apps windows smart screen can help protect your pc by warning you before running unrecognized apps and files downloaded from the internet so right now it's set to warn before running an unrecognized app. You can also select don't do anything which will turn off Windows Smart Screen. So there's two options in there. Now I thought I'd also throw in this little brief um, side tutorial in this video because some of you guys might be getting a lot of pop-ups from user account control as well. So if you change your Smart Screen settings and you're still getting a lot of pop-ups, a lot of them might be attributed to the user account control settings. So if you select this option instead, you can select how many notifications you might get or generally speaking so default it's set to notify only when apps are trying to make changes to your computer if you want it to be more aggressive you can toggle it to the top position which will always notify whenever you try and install applications or they're trying to make changes to your computer or you're changing windows settings so this is definitely the most intrusive one of all of the options on the other extreme, you can disable user account control settings all the way at the bottom. And the one second from the middle will just notify when apps try to make changes to your computer. And the biggest thing about this one is if you don't want it to dim your computer display, this is the option for you guys, would be the second one from the middle. Again, both of the two at the bottom are not recommended by Microsoft. Even though, believe it or not, the top option is even though that's another extreme, I guess Microsoft would rather have you safer than sorry. So just keep that in mind. You can change these settings as well if you want. And that pretty much will cover most of the notifications you guys get. Um, if you are not running an antivirus software like a third party application, there's a good chance you are running Windows Defender. And if you are getting a lot of pop ups through that, it's really kind of hard to disable those notifications without actually disabling the antivirus. So just keep that in mind. Um, you can change the aggressiveness of your antivirus, but again, I really would not recommend that. And I'm really not going to highlight that in this tutorial because this is really specifically about the smart screen filter. But I thought I'd just throw in something about the user account control settings as well. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.